You were source energy before you came into this body. And as you came into this body, you came knowing that you would explore this magnificent contrasting variety, knowing that it would continually cause you to calibrate. You get what we mean? When you focus upon something, you join the wave of it. You calibrate, but the thing that is so interesting is that the whole time you are calibrating to what you do not want or calibrating to something that has been, or even something that is, you can't do that without an equivalent wave of the other end of that wave occurring. In other words, problem solution. The answer is you cannot calibrate to the solution while you're calibrated to the problem. You just got to decide. So you got to back up from it and be more general and say things to yourself such as, well, this is a problem, but there is a solution. And I know I will find the solution and I'm looking forward to the solution. In other words, when life has caused you to launch a rocket and expand and you don't go, there is this natural feeling of an easiness within you. It's a feeling of something's off, even if you can't verbalize it in that way. Hear this, you are born calibrators which means you are born harmonizers which means when there is a loud note in the room you are sort of drawn to harmonize with it harmony is a natural instinct isn't it but you're misunderstanding the urge to calibrate the urge to let life launch the rocket of desire but then calibrate to the desire, not to the absence of the desire that started. Calibration simply means finding the harmonic chord. And the thing that most humans have been confused about is that you have such a strong harmonic chord of well being, of love and expansion and fullness. And it's the most natural thing in the world that when you get crossways of it that it feels bad to you and then it's a sort of natural thing that you then try to find something to calibrate to that helps you defend it or feel better but feeling better about things that feel terrible is not your path that's not who you are and so we're just asking that you pay a little bit of attention now that you have this clear point of view that you'd be more desirous to calibrate to the new desire that has been birthed rather than to the absence of it that you may be standing in the middle of so over time we've offered many many suggestions about reach for the thought that feels better and so forth because that's a calibration We've encouraged you to do focus wheels. That's a calibration. We've encouraged you when you feel good to get on a rampage of appreciation so that you really calibrate to what feels good. Everything that we've ever offered to you has been about you calibrating to who you really are. And of course, before you can calibrate to that note, to that vibration, you've got to first know that it exists. Do you? Do you know that you came forth from source and that that source part of you is still there offering a signal to which you can calibrate? Because if you can accept that, then everything else is easy for you. But if you haven't accepted that, then you are calibrating to the loudest vibration in the room. And sometimes you get confused because if you haven't beforehand taken the time to calibrate to your highest frequency, then the loudest note in the room will call you to it. And that's all right, because as you get called to it, you have a feeling sensations. And this is what we really want you to know. You are source energy and a part of you is here in this physical body. And the strongest calibration, the strongest signal that you are is one of pure love one of knowing well being, one of loving self and one of loving others. But that love word is so overused and so misunderstood that it's maybe not even the best word to use. The God word doesn't work either because so many of you think so many things about those things. So we don't want you to calibrate to a word. We want you to calibrate to a feeling. And we want you to do your best to decide that feeling good is a good thing. <laughs> that feeling good is a good thing. So what we're talking about 
incessantly is identifying a vibration, a desired one, and then isolating it by focusing on it and not other stuff. And in doing so, eventually calibrating to that frequency. And now what's happened is you are one with you. Now, what's the benefit of being one with you, with who you really are? You've been around a long time. You've been calibrating longer than there are human words to describe or human concepts to comprehend. You're old. <laughs> and that you that has become is pure positive energy and it is dominant. That's why well-being abounds, even if you won't admit it. So this whole of who you are, this pure positive energy of who you are, this pure positive energy of who you are has a point of attraction. Law of attraction is responding to that you. If you've been hanging around with us for a while, you've heard us say, we say it often, one who is connected to this stream of well-being is more powerful than millions who are not. So that point of attraction is powerful, more powerful, hard to define how much more powerful. And we want you to contemplate for a moment with us. Why, why that part is so much more powerful in its point of attraction, because there's no contradiction in the energy because the vibration has been identified and isolated and calibrated. And so since there is no contradiction, oh, that signal is strong. As the law of attraction is responding to everything that is abounding, you have choices. You can calibrate to wanted or unwanted, but you can't all of a sudden, after you've been calibrated, after you've been noticing, after you've been complaining, after you've been observing, do you know? Heard us say this many times if you've been hanging around with us. Most humans offer most of their vibrations in response to what they are observing, which is a good thing if what you're observing feels good, but it is not a good thing if what you're observing feels bad. And if you've got the habit of observation, then you're going to have a mixed bag and you're not going to be like your inner being who is consistently pure positive energy. Now that's okay. You're not ever going to be that until you croak. You're not ever going to be that until there is nothing in the physical realm that has your attention. And you came to the physical realm intending to give your attention to things in the physical realm because calibrating to unwanted gives birth to what is wanted. And that's the evolution of all species. It's the expansion of the universe. It's a good thing, not a bad thing. You just have to decide once you've taken that step one by knowing what you don't want and asking for more. You just have to decide if you're willing to start looking toward what you're asking for, or if you're going to stay in the defense mode of explaining to someone, usually your mother, why you want it. That's what other humans do to you. You say, I would really like this. And they say, what makes you think you deserve that? Most of the world doesn't have that. Who do you think you are? And you're usually not with it enough to say, I'm source energy in a human body and I get what I want. <laughs> You're usually not frisky enough to say, oh, well, it's nice talking to you. I think I'll go over here where I no longer have to talk to you because you, you are seeking calibration from me because now why do you do that? Why do you, why do they, why does anybody, why do you seek understanding of others? Why do you want them to get you? Why do you want them to get you? Because if they get you, you feel better. You feel better than if they don't get you. We get that. But why is it important for them to get you? Here's the answer. Here's our answer. Take it or leave it. Here's our answer. The reason that you want humans to get you is because you've forgotten who really gets you. You've lost track of what it feels like to really be tuned in. So we don't want you to tune to this frequency. We don't want you to calibrate to the frequency of source for the power of it. Although it is powerful beyond description. We don't want you to calibrate to that for the power of it. We want you to calibrate to that for the pleasure of it. Your inner being, your source is not just walking close to you, is 
all over you, surrounding you, infused in you, flowing through your streams, your air streams and your blood streams and your vibrational streams. You are so understood and so loved and so wrapped in this stable love. But if you're focused upon something that's a different frequency, you don't know it. And you see, it's your perception that matters. Your inner being can love you unequivocally as your inner being does eternally. But if you don't know it, you don't get the benefit of it. If you know something else, you're blocking that. If a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, did it make a sound? Nope. It made a vibration. But if there isn't an ear there to translate the vibration into what you call sound, there was no sound, there was vibration. So you got to tune to the frequency of source before you have that knowing. The existence of your source within you is only meaningful to you when you know about the existence of your source and you calibrate frequently to it. And you know, the more you calibrate to the frequency of your source, the better you'll feel, first of all. But then something else happens. People used to say to us in the early days when we would encourage meditation, and they would begin meditating, sometimes for the first time in their life. And then they would say to us, Abraham, is it normal for all hell to break loose in my life when I begin meditating? And we would say, yep. <laughs> because as you calibrate to that frequency of who you really are, when you're not calibrated to that frequency, you notice it more. The more you are that loving being that you are, the more painful it is to be otherwise. 